this algorithm does perform on two sticks, one stick. Man, I wish I had a CPU mining rig, but I said that I wouldn't spend any more money on mining equipment and only spend the proceeds from mining. You should buy it. You'll get literally dozens of views. Okay, let's do it. The technicals. All right, so CPU mining, the thing that started, hang on, that's better. So CPU mining, the thing that started it all, what Bitcoin was originally mined on. We're gonna be building our first dedicated CPU mining rig today. So after a deep dive on Rabid Mining's channel, link in the description below, great CPU mining resource. I was getting thirsty for building my own CPU mining rig because I'm not much for talking to other human beings in general, haggling on Facebook for equipment that's two or three generations old, uh, not really my cup of tea. So we're gonna do this the right way, the regarded way, the technicals way, which is just the wrong way, but faster. But what do we got for this? Ryzen 9 7950 X3D, currently the Cadillac as far as I can tell. Uh, processors until at the end of this month the 8000 series comes out motherboard to pair it with here the uh, gigabyte aurora's b650 gonna be repurposing one of these 1300 watt power supplies don't really need a 1300 watt power supply in order to do this but it's got the you know two cp it's got plenty of cables i i'm, I'm that's what i'm gonna use ddr5 6000 to pair it with just 32 gigabytes because i don't think you really need a lot a cooler, an uh, air cooler, not going with an AIO, not going with liquid. We may experiment with that in the future because I love doing liquid stuff. Uh, but for now, we just want to get set up and have it running. As far as where we're going to put it, we're not going to put it out in the building. We're not going to put it in the rack because your boy's all about the aesthetic. I'm going to put it here on my Primo Chill wet bench that sits in the background of my videos because that will be something interesting to look at because the subject matter of my videos is so terrible. Let's crack all this stuff open and get to building. All right, so we're over here on our Hive OS. We've got the 7950X3D up, running. Had some hiccups with the uh, power supply, but we seem to be hashing. There are no overclocks. There are no adjustments to the core voltage, nothing to do with under uh, undervolting. We just want to make sure that it works, make sure that we're getting some hash and check on our temperature. So we threw it over on nice hash just to uh, give it some time to run through, ramp through, see if we're going to get any hiccups or restarts or anything like that. See some peaks and valleys, but as we all know, nice hash. Um, kind of wobbles a little bit and right now buck 35 showing and we know this changes quite a bit uh, but not bad for a single processor all right so as you can see from this little montage right here we tried several different cooling methods to bring the temperatures down on the 7950 x3d uh, because the temperatures were a little high for my liking and this is from me coming from the gpu world where adc is like danger zone with cpus from what i've gathered especially this one um, it's not too terrible. It's on the high side, but it's, you know, people say it's fine to run that or a little higher. Um, really though, I want to get to the absolute lowest I possibly can before getting into BIOS settings, before doing things with the volts and the memory and the whatnot and the stuff and the thing. That's probably just because I'm coming from the mechanical side of things, the layer one side of things, because uh, I don't like software, I like hardware. We tried it with the stock cooler that we put on in the beginning and we were getting those uh, temperature readings. So we thought, hey, we've got this AIO here. It has an AM4 bra or AM5 bracket on it. Let's go ahead and throw it on there and see if we can achieve some better results. Now this is a 280 AIO so, uh, double, two fans. Uh, 140 millimeters a piece. Uh, however, when we put it on there, we were confident in the thermal paste and everything like that, but I think it's just, uh, it was just too much thermal load. Uh, the pump speed just wasn't up to, to task. It wasn't, uh, I couldn't control the pump speed. So the temperatures were actually slightly higher. I'll put a screenshot here. Um, when I took off the AIO, the paste was in a pattern consistent with what sh it should look like. Uh, so we went back to the air cooler 
uh, but we did try some more experiments. As you can see here, we went ahead and put this 120 volt axial fan on it. We used to use these for our, our server cases when we had our GPU rigs back in server cases. Um, they're high CFM, they're loud, but we figured let's take off these fans that came with this uh, tower cooler put one on the back and see if we can achieve a little bit better result. As you can see here right now on RandomX, what we were on previously, slightly, slightly better. And we took off both of the tower fans, uh, the ones that came stock with the cooler and just had the one axial fan running on it right now. It's uh, connected, it's right next to the thicker part of the heat sink because it is a split tower. And it's running about maybe three, four degrees less. So. That's still a little high. I don't want to settle for this. This thing is zip tied on. I don't want a zip tied 120 volt fan sitting on top lopsided of a $600 processor. So we're going to have to bring out the big guns. No, 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 no. I'm not talking custom loop. I don't want to get into that. That's a lot of time. Maybe we'll do that in the future when we have nine of these things. We'll put them all in a row and that'd be really stupid, but cool to look at. But for now, we're gonna go AIO, but we're gonna go bigger. This bad boy lands tomorrow. We're gonna slap it on, see if we can achieve lower temperatures on this 7950X3D. Once we have that baseline established of like, whoa, super duper cool, then we can start playing around with the settings. 7950X3D is inherently more efficient. Again, I'm gathering this and doing all the research right now more of an efficient processor. So the voltage is already pretty low compared to something like just the 7950X. If you know a lot about these things, if you know a lot about CPU mining in the 7000 series on these high-end processors, and you know about the, uh, you know, running different Expo profiles, undervolting, overvolting, playing around with those BIOS settings, let me know in the comments below because I got a lot of research to do and I'd love for some tips on how to get the most out of this thing. Stay tuned for part two. We'll go back through and see what results we get with that AIO. If you want to follow along in this process, be sure to subscribe and like this video for more. Otherwise, I'm the Technicals. See you next time.